All right, here we are. February 22nd, and I'm finally, I'm finally gonna get out on the bike. Man, I am so far behind when it comes to, uh, when it comes to getting the rides in and getting the miles in and training for the LaTap 100. It's really nice out right now. Like I said, it's February 22nd, and I just checked my temperature gauge on my truck, and it's 90 degrees. <laughs> Last week, it was in the 30s. Last weekend, it was 31. Today, it's 90. Gotta love Texas weather, right? Just wait around for a few minutes, it'll change. Well, it did. For the better, in my opinion, for the better, because I like the warmer weather. So, anyway, let me get my shoes on, let me get my helmet on, my gloves on, and let's get out and ride. Let's do it. be considered north because it comes swings back around I'm gonna hit this way on the trail because there's a little more hill climbing some switchbacks and whatnot so put my legs to a little bit of a test see how they hold up and uh, kind of gauge where I'm at when it comes to being on the bike and logging miles let's get rolling up those hills let's go back climb this will give me an idea where my endurance is it's not even really that big of a climb but when you haven't ridden in a while I'm already breathing heavy here we go all right that wasn't too bad but you know what they say what goes up must come down Damn, it puts speed bumps in. <laughs> that threw me off there for a second. Exactly 12.75 miles into the ride, 53 minutes, average speed 14.4, and uh, feeling really good right now. I'm really encouraged on how I'm feeling on this ride so far. I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna turn around and go back, so that should put me at about 25 miles for the first time in several months, and really, this feels really good. So, I'm pretty excited about it. Now I'm a little more optimistic about the uh, little tap 100 coming up in the month. What is it, a month and a half now? If I can get some uh, good solid rides in, I'm gonna try to get together with D this weekend 
and uh, ride with him. He's training for the Galveston 70.3, I think is in April, or no, I don't know when it is. I think maybe in mid-April, but, uh, or early April, I don't know. But um, he's looking to get, to get out and ride with me, and we've been trying to, but the last few, several weekends, something's come up either on my side or, or on his end, so we haven't been able to coordinate. So I'm hoping that uh, this, week, this Sunday we'll, we'll get out and ride, so. That'd be good. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna head back now. See ya back at the trailhead. That was good. I'm very pleased with that ride. Let's see here. I did. Let me show you here. 25.57 miles. Took me an hour. 55 minutes, 31 seconds. Average speed, 13.3 miles an hour. Not too bad. Burned 1,400 and 27 calories not sure what my gain is but anyway that was a good ride i'm very pleased right now this uh this kind of gives me a gauge of where i'm at at this point in 2023 with a 100 mile race less than two months away so this is a positive day so good I'm just kind of rambling right now because I'm starving. I'm so hungry. I can hardly think straight. My mouth and throat is really dry because I ran out of, I forgot my bottles at the house. I had to get a little, anyways, thirsty as hell. All right, I'm going to end it here. You know, I don't know if I'm going to make this a whole video by itself or if I'm going to add a few more things in, but I don't know. I'm just going to end it right here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Huh.